we got going on today is I haven't set a bait yet or even bear hunted all year. Very unusual year for me. Just had too many things going on, but uh, I got my bait. It's the bread. I got a barrel. I got a four wheeler. I got a bucket full of restaurant grease and we're going to go up, set a bait, maybe uh, do some cooking, get, get it smelling like, you know, McDonald's or some fast food restaurant up in the middle of the mountains and we're going to go deep today. We're going to go further than anybody else will go because we're in search of big, big bears and so we're going to get away from roads where hound hunters can go or rifle hunters or just road hunters. We're going to set a bait somewhere pretty far and we're, this year we're just going to do one bait site. We're going to basically try to just go really remote and that's the, the whole goal. So I'm going to hustle. Got beautiful weather and it's a weekday. Should be at work but I'm playing hooky with my family up here and I'm gonna bring you along. I got a ground blinding chair strapped to the front. I got this little, I'm gonna call it a 20, 25 gallon drum with a sweet lid and a hole cut in the bottom. Filled with carbohydrates, no grease added yet, but you, bears aren't just gonna come on and eat bread unless it's pastries. Um, but what they will do is when you soak it with grease, restaurant grease, they're gonna come in, they're gonna track it all over the place, they're gonna attract other bears. Again, remember, we're going somewhere really remote, further than we've ever gone before, kind of rolling the dice, trying to get back into some bears that haven't been hunted yet. Let me show you what I've done here. I've got a lot more brush to pile up, but I got a ground blind and a deadfall behind it, kind of blocking. And I'm gonna block this entrance right here with more brush. So I want the bears to come from below. I got this, oh, 25 gallon, 30 gallon drum with three different ratchets. I wish I had a chain and bolt, but I didn't, I just didn't do it. I dropped the ball on that. So hopefully this will be here when we get back. Now I'm gonna cook honey I'm gonna put my bait permit up and I'm gonna dump grease into the barrel and I'll try to record all that and then when I'm done with that I gotta find a nice spot to put a trail camera in a bear box and then finish brushing up uh, get in the ground blind make sure I got some windows to shoot and then I'll be back in a couple weeks you can see it coming out the bottom soaking on the ground. Now the bears are gonna get the grease all over their pads, track it all over the woods, and bears will attract bears. And then you can get real picky on uh, which bear you wanna harvest.